Hey little readers, I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded any videos. We've been really busy this year, but we're back and it's fall, so let's read a couple of good stories. This first book is called Otter Loves Halloween. It's by Sam Garten. Halloween is the best holiday ever. Teddy and I had been waiting a very long time for Halloween. There were lots of things we had to do to get ready. First, Otter Keeper took us pumpkin shopping. But Otter Keeper is not very good at choosing pumpkins. Teddy and I found the right one eventually. It was very big, so we had to promise we'd help carry it back. When we got home, Otter Keeper ran into a few problems carving our pumpkin. I told Giraffe to help because Teddy and I had to start decorating the house. We did decorate a few things we shouldn't have, but overall we did a great job. Finally, I had to organize everyone's Halloween costumes. I dressed up as a super scary witch. I couldn't get my magical broomstick to work. but. I looked really scary, so that didn't matter. Teddy decided to dress up as a scary mummy. We both agreed that he looked almost as scary as I did. Giraffe wanted to dress up for Halloween too, but I wasn't sure about his costume idea. Otter Keeper said, you can dress up as whatever you want on Halloween. So Giraffe was a fairy. He wasn't really taking Halloween seriously. Everyone knows fairies aren't scary. So I added some teeth. We spent the rest of the afternoon practicing with our costumes by scaring Pig. Teddy and I were very good at this. Giraffe was not. But it was his fault for dressing as an unscary fairy. Finally, the doorbell rang. The trick-or-treaters were here at last. It was then that we ran into a problem. The trick-or-treaters were very scary, almost too scary. I suddenly remembered I had lots of important things to do under the bed upstairs. I took Pig with me too. He was really scared. I was worried Halloween had been ruined. But then Otter Keeper had a little chat with us. We both felt a lot better. Then Otter Keeper had a clever idea. I was even allowed to help. When the next trick-or-treaters arrived, we were ready for them. Our new costumes worked perfectly. These trick-or-treaters sounded even scarier than the ones before. But things are much less scary when you can't really see them. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. This was definitely the best Halloween ever. Until the trick-or-treaters stopped coming. Otter Keeper told me they had all gone home because it was almost bedtime. But I wasn't tired at all. So I made special costumes for everyone. It's a good thing we finished when we did. It was way past Pig's bedtime. I hope you enjoyed that story, little readers. I've missed you all. I hope you come back for more. Tomorrow we'll be uploading again. I'll see you then. Goodbye.